Hey guys, it is Tyler here back once again with another Assassin's Creed Valhalla reaction video. Today, I'm going to be doing the last of the Hidden One Bureaus and finishing off that little storyline in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I've done the first two, so the one in London and the one in um, the first Mercenary. I forget the small town, but you get the gist of it. We're in Essex right now doing the third, so I'm going to go through to the other four, explore them, just record my reaction to them. And hopefully uh, get something out of it. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen here. I don't know if there's going to be some really interesting ending or what Hytham will do once we get all those codex pages, but we'll find out. Um, well, there's a hidden one symbol there. We just need some explosives. Thankfully, are right here. There we go. Oh. We are on fire. I think we're in the right place. First time that's been lit up in a while. Great hole. Well, they didn't make it easy to get to. Same warning message. Codex page. In my favorite city of Yorvik right now. It's a hidden one's bureau right there. Oh wow. What is this, the training area? The training area for hidden ones. Here we are. We're inside. Two more to go. Your victor had quite a bureau down here. Huge training area. And large, just general space. Quite an organized organization back in their day in England during the Roman Empire. This is quite an out of the way bureau.
there it is. Whoa. The hidden one symbol just lit up. Holy fuck, that's fucking sick. Same warning message. Where's the codex page? There it is. more to go. Oh, I've already made it in. Her true name is lost to the living, as the names of all our first hidden ones, a testament to their devotion, I suppose. But a woman this coloured and stained by history cannot live invisible in her own time. She's seen the blood of Caesar, the tears of Cleopatra, and the wrath of Imperator Augustus, no less. So this is Aya or Amunet. She would not kill me for speaking her name, but I will say it. Amunet, they called her a long time ago. And today, for a moment, she lived not in memory, but in flesh. As for the rest, they are gone. And happier for it, I think. Oh, so the woman the whole time in these codex pages was that was visiting them was Amunet. Hotham's gonna love this. Not only because you all have such good taste. Now, this this one begins a long time ago. Hytham. I have the codex pages you asked for. Six in total. Ah, wonderful. We have so little writing from the original Hidden Ones. This will grow our understanding immeasurably. These documents may have been inked by the founders of the Hidden Ones, in fact. But their names are unknown to us. Lost to history. A deliberate choice on their part, I think. I'm hoping these documents shed some light on that mystery. I could not say. They're written in a language I do not understand. You know, the black market merchant Reda has an old piece of writing from the same era as the codex pages you found. Speak with him if you are curious to see it. This, this one begins a long right. time ago at a desert oasis. Oh, Reda's here talking a about bloody peace. hidden ones himself. Or well, at least by nice story. To see a friendly face. So if you see any about, send them my way. Reda. Hytham says you have an old piece of writing from the early Hidden Ones. Oh, that old scrap? Yes, it's just a short letter from one Hidden One to another. One of my rarest artifacts. How did it find its way to you? A friend gave it to me for safekeeping. Bayek was his name. Egyptian fellow. Very kind. Haven't seen him in a long time. <laughs> a very long time. Anyway, the letter is written in Demotic. So it may not mean much to you, but you're free to have a look. Now, this one, this one begins a long time That's ago the letter there. at a death. A warning, my beloved. I have heard numerous tales now of a secret codex circulating among the acolytes of our bureaus, both within and without the Empire of Augustus, called the Magus Codex. It names you directly as one of the founders of the Hidden Ones. Apart from putting your life in danger, it flies in the face of what we have tried to achieve with our brotherhood. We are justice seekers who shun the light of praise for our good works and who must live in the shadows of our triumphs. Should you see any pages of this codex, I advise you to destroy them. Keep the dream of our hidden ones alive. 
Now, I am not so naive to think this will be a simple task. Few men and women are suited to keeping such secrets for so long. And it may be that we will fail in the end, but we will have failed in the name of righteousness. Take care, my love. My Iset. My northern star. Even in my waning years, I am ever your Osiris. Let our Horus live on beyond us. I think of you often, my jewel. At sunrise and twilight, at new moon and full, when the rain falls and the breath of a moon rides across my neck, I remember you kissing me, just there, and I will take that feeling to my tomb. What a performance by Abubakar. Uh, just in that letter alone. I felt so much of that emotion of who Bayek was. What he believed in as a hidden one. But also his love for Aya. What a man. What a moment to get at the end of getting those codex pages. And to learn more about why we know so little about the founders of the Hidden Ones. As well, that explains that side of things. Why did Ezio and I'll tell you not know who Bayek and I were? Eivor. But obviously Amunet's name was known a little bit. So, that explains why, you know, she was placed in the Villa de Torre. Along with several others, but Bayek never was. He, he really was the Hidden One. Wow. Cool moment. Cool moment. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's um, that's all the uh, Hidden One Bureaus and my reaction to the ending of that. Um, I'll be back soon with more reactions. Uh, the last couple of arcs or the last, I don't know, two, maybe three arcs to go and then I'm sure there's a modern day ending and I don't know. I don't know what's to come, but... We're towards the end of the game now, so I'm uh, the next few arcs that are coming out will be the ones near the end, and um, hopefully in the next week or so I'll get all of that out and you'll see my reaction to how the game wraps up. Thank you for watching. Uh, of course, like and subscribe, and uh, feel free to support me on Patreon, and thanks to our producers as well, and um, I'll see you all next time.